Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee, or you can call me Kay. Uh, lately I've been doing a lot of like Starfield mod installation tutorials. So today I'm gonna be doing a mod installation tutorial for a mod called Clean Field. This mod basically gives you the option to remove the intro screen for the Bethesda introduction screen where it says like Bethesda Game Studios and also the message of the day on the top right that loads whenever you load through to Starfield's main menu. And another option to remove the Starfield logo in the center of the main menu as well. There's like three different options you can choose from, but this mod just makes it clean. It makes it clean. That's why it's called Clean Field. There are three different FPS options to download this mod in. There's 30, FPS, 60, and 120. We're just going to get right into installing this mod. No dilly-dallying. So this is the mod for Clean Field. There's three different options, like I mentioned before. Um, this is basically regular Starfield, I believe. This is one of the options that removes the message of the day on the top right. One option, another option removes the Starfield in the middle and then leaves message of the day. This one just makes it entirely clean. So here are all the things that I could remove, the no epilepsy and seizure warning, the Bethesda logo video, the Bethesda logo, the message of the day, which is optional, and the Starfield logo, which is also optional. You can also install this via Vortex or Mod Organizer 2 as well. So with this mod, we're just going to go ahead and go straight to downloading it. You're going to download this one if you want to download it manually. This one is for Mod Organizer 2 or Vortex. So I'm going to download this one. So once that's done, if you're new to modding, this program right here is called 7-Zip, or you can download download something else called WinRAR, which is basically, they perform relatively the same. You're gonna need a program like this in order to install any kind of mods in order to like extract files and bring them onto your Starfield directory. I'll put a link in the description below on where you can download these two programs if you wanna download them. It is required for this mod installation. So this mod actually makes it relatively easy for archive and validation. If you do not have archive and validation enabled, you can either go watch a video that I made on how to do it, or this mod makes it super, super easy for it. It actually puts a Starfield custom .ini in the mod folder. So if you do not have a Starfield custom .ini file already, you just wanna go to your PC. Some people have it on their OneDrive, so make sure you check your OneDrive. But for me, it's on my PC, documents, and then my games. After that, I go to Starfield, and then here is my Starfield custom .ini. But if you do not have one already, this makes it so easy. All you gotta do is just drag drop this here. If you already have one, you literally just want to add some new text to this. You can open up the one from the mod and you can see the text you need to add. It also has it in the mod description for this mod. But the text you want to add is this. If you already have your camera FOV or your archive for uh, archive validation, you just want to press enter. You just want to copy that general three lines here and just add that below it. And after that, you're going to save your file and then exit out of your Starfield custom INI. Again, if you do not have it, you just want to save yourself some time. Just get this and drag and drop it into your my doc documents my game Starfield, okay? So after you do that, you're gonna open up the options folder on the mod. And so there's uh, four different options here. So there's one to remove everything, which includes removing the message of the day, the Starfield logo, and the beginning uh, scenes for like the Bethesda logo and stuff like that. So that one removes everything if you don't want anything. This one keeps the Starfield logo, but removes everything else. So the message of the day and the intro screens will be gone. This one keeps the message of the day and the Starfield logo, but it gets rid of the intro screens. And then this one just keeps the message of the day. So these are the four ones you want to pay attention to. Don't worry about Bethesda logo video dummy right now. So choose the one that you want for your preference right now. So the one that I'm choosing is to keep the Starfield logo, but again, choose whatever you want. So after you choose the one you want, open it up and you're going to find three different options, 120 FPS, 60 FPS, and 30 FPS. I'm going to go with 60 FPS and you're going to find an interface folder in each one. So you're going to see that interface folder and you want to go to, go to your... <laughs> You're gonna to wanna to go to your Steam and find your Starfield. After that, right click it, go to manage and browse local files. This will open up your Starfield Steam directory and you're gonna to wanna to see and find your interface folder, which is in your data folder. Open that up. If you do not see an interface folder, that's totally fine. You're gonna basically be creating one right now. So you basically just wanna drag and drop this into this data folder. If you already have an interface folder, the interface folder is just gonna go right into the interface folder. It's not gonna make two folders, but it's gonna add anything new into this folder, which there there is one new file in it and that's your main menu SWF. As you can see, it's right here in my interface folder. I just installed it and it didn't make two double folders, so don't worry about that. But if you don't have an interface folder, it's basically just gonna make a new interface folder for you and you'll have one now. Apparently also for some people, this is another method that might work for you if the prior one did not. You basically just wanna go to your My Documents, My Games, and Starfield. You wanna open up your data folder and you wanna put the interface folder in here instead. After that, you're gonna go back out of the entire mod and you're gonna go back to options and the Bethesda 
says the logo video dummy one is the one that we're going to be focusing on right now. So open that file up and then you're going to see there's a data folder, video folder. It says BGS logo 1080p bink version dot BK2. Where you want to install that is in your Starfield Steam directory. So you want to, again, if you close the file lot already, you want to go to your Starfield on your Steam, go to manage and then browse local files and it'll bring it open for you there. You want to open up your data folder and you're going to find your video folder. If, if you don't have a video folder, that's okay. You're just going to open up to get to the video folder and you're just going to drag and drop it in here. If you do have a video folder, just open up the video folder on the mod and then you're going to open up yours. And you're just going to drag and drop this one into your video folder. So we're just going to go ahead and launch that and you'll see that there's going to be no intro that'll pop up with the Bethesda thing. It'll just straight up open into Starfield and there's no message of the day on the top right. So it was installed correctly and it's working properly. Feel free to email me if you need any help or if you need any help on Discord, let me know your Discord name and I'll try my best to add you and do my best to help you as well. But I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.